Hello, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and I'm a heavy bed trainer. And today I'm going to do an interesting exercise uh, in heavy bed where I have an activity, the same activity throughout the estimate, and I'm going to replace it with the same activity, or I could even replace it with another activity uh, in in the estimate. So this is not. Uh, exactly a feature that resides in heavy bid, but using a few features in heavy bid, I can accomplish the same thing. So I think you'll enjoy this uh, video if you have application for it. Uh, let's say, like in my example, what I have is I have a, uh, an activity that is specifically utility cleanup. And what I want to do is I have it throughout the estimate. I probably have modified it. Let's say, for example, I modified it for each type of activity. And now I just kind of want to wipe it out and restore it back with the, uh, an activity that is consistent throughout the estimate. Okay, so, uh, and we'll, we'll cover the example as I get into it. So before we get into the exercise, let's look and see what heavy bid does have for find and replace. So we can find those functions up here in edit. And we, first of all, we have replace resources. So we can take any resource, be it uh, labor equipment and, or local materials and replace it with another. Uh, so, you know, if I want to replace a labor foreman with maybe some other type of a labor foreman, I could do that with this function or piece of equipment. Another one that we have is replace crews where I can take and one crew and replace it with another crew throughout the estimate. Uh, and we can even hide, modify crews. You notice we can see where the crews are so we can uncheck them. Maybe we don't want to replace them in certain areas. So pretty powerful function and uh, one that you know you should probably have in your toolbox, but still it doesn't answer the question, how can I take an activity, let's say in this example, a uh, activity that I have throughout the estimate many times and replace it back with maybe the, the default activity in the activity codebook. And we'll go over maybe some different uh, scenarios uh, concerning this. So for this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this activity and the activity is of course this, uh, this one I have clean up after utility installation. And we're gonna take it and replace it with the one that's in the activity codebook. So step one, I have to find and uh, compile where this activity is. So where I want to do this, I can do two places. I could do it in the query or I could do it in the edit activity. I choose the change activity data function here in the edit because also this is where I'm going to d delete it after I make a list of it. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go first of all, down here to my filters and I'm going to go into my activity filters and down here to my activities and the one that I want to filter on let's find it 56010 and I click that and there's my list right there now I can also use the customize feature right here and I can say, well, I want to see my production type, production rate, and calendar, let's say, for instance, here. So I can see a lot of information here. You can see I got different productions here. Uh, you know, and, and the thing is, I could, uh, you notice on the right-hand side, I could take these and make them uniform production rate, but that's not exactly what I want to do here because I also want to make a modification with the material that comes in with this. So, uh, but if it's true that I could standardize the production right here if I wanted to. Okay, so now I have this list up here. How do I get it out to uh, a list in Excel? I just merely right click, send to Excel. Creates the, S the uh, Excel um, workbook here. I'm going to go ahead and save it. 
and I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm just going to call this uh, activity list there you go so I got my activity list next step I'm also going to back it up right just in case something happens I'm going to back this up uh, probably should have done that in the very beginning and I'm going to say uh, back up uh, I'm going to say May uh, today's date is the 21st all right so you see how I can kind of impend this and make this uh, have more information here if I want to and I go ahead and back this up all right, next step. So I've identified it, I filtered on it, and now I want to delete. So I just go down here to select all, come over here, and there's my delete items right here on the right hand side. Now you notice at the top, last change I might want to record that number I don't know you know because it's going to change when I bring it back in uh, also I have the the in the query I have the audit trail right here and if I refresh it I can see I can see my deleted items right here uh, in the audit trail all right so that's the, that's the step that I have already deleted it now I want to replace it in the estimate with maybe a modif modification or back to the standard that I had before. Now we want to import in the activity. And remember, I have the activity uh, listed on the spreadsheet that I created. So I come to Exchange, Import. Right-hand side, there's two database. Most people watching this video probably have imported in bid items, but I'm going to activate the plus here and drill down one more level and go to the activities. All right, now I'm going to come out here to my spreadsheet that I created, my activity list, and open that up. Now, the cool thing about this is all I really need is the bid item, and the activity if i look on the right hand side you see how that they are yellow that means that those are the fields that are required and everything else is optional so i don't need any all these other things i don't need because i'm going to get the actual information from the activity codebook for 56010 so all i have to do now is just say b and c and do my import there we go if we go back to the change activity data you can see that i brought them back in there they are it's at 55 uh, production rate of 55. so you can see how it's pretty quick and it's just a couple of steps first i erase well first i make the excel spreadsheet and then i erase and then i import all right so spreadsheet erase import so let's do this again but maybe add a twist to it so what i want to do is i want to take one act i want to take the activity that i have in the estimate and substitute another activity in its place same steps uh, but just a little bit of a twist. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here and in my activity code book, I got, uh, I got, this is what's in the estimate, but I'm going to substitute this one right here, 56020. So let's just start again. And you can see how quick this, in fact, what we'll do is we're just going to come in and just reset and start from scratch. I'm going to go to edit. Right now I'm in edit, change activity data. That's step one. And I filter. I go to my activity filters. And I come and filter on that 560 right there. So I establish my data for my export to my uh, spreadsheet. And I right click, send to Excel. Done. All right. And I'm going to just call this. 
I'm going to call this uh, oh, example two. All right. I don't need that anymore. Next step. Uh, well, I'm not going to do it now, but I would probably back up the estimate. That would probably be the first thing I would do. But let's just go ahead and assume I've done that. And now I'm going to select all and delete items. Done. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get that spreadsheet and I'm going to substitute in its place the other activity. All right, so I'm going to come out here and there's my example. Open this up. And I'm going to go with 56020 now. So I'm going to copy this down and save it. So really all I've done is establish the, the relationship here. This is just, this data here I don't need. It's really just these two columns, B and C. All right. So next step, I go back to my exchange. Import. I come here to my open up where it says bid items and my activities. I already have B and C there. All I got to do is come over here to my example two. Right? I'm only doing B and C because C is, is going to pick it up from the activity code book. I don't need any of this other information. All right. And I do my import. It's done. If I come back here to where I have my filters, and but now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab the 56020. All right, and there it is right there. And there is my data that I just imported. I substituted 56020 for 56010. So you can see, even though this function doesn't exactly exist in heavy bid, it's very easy to do. In fact, I think I'd rather do this than have, you know, HCSS program something because I have so much control. There's so many things that I can do. Once I understand that import, there's so many things that I can do to better control that substitution. Uh, so anyway, uh, another place that I can look at this is in my query. I go to my activity. And of course, I could go to my filters. And then I'm going to come right here, 56020. And there it is right there. And there's that activity that I just imported in. I know it's standardized. It's you know exactly what was in the activity code book so that's the beauty of this import well this is arthur nix with ewks and i wish everybody good success on their upcoming uh, bid schedule and uh, be looking out for some more videos that i'll have on some uh, more subjects on heavy bid